Hey, good morning. It is 716 on a Sunday. Thank you for waking up with us. Hopefully you wear blue today. Join 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 the club. Yes, absolutely. Great minds think alike. Yeah. We just woke up and said blue and we both came to work with blue. And now our viewers have the memo. <laughs> Another memo is about the, the, the mixed bag that we're going to see weather wise. Yes, China. We could maybe see a sprinkle or two as you're looking at the satellite radar from your screen within the last six hours alone. You can actually start to see some showers starting to make landfall or will be making landfall. I would say within the next 30 minutes or so again, not expecting to see a whole ton of rain, maybe just a few traces at that for today. Again, things are going to be changing for tomorrow. We'll talk more about that in just a second, but uh, something else. If you're going to be driving within the next hour or two, expect to see some low visibility in some areas, including uh, parts of Portland, Scappoose, Hillsboro, and really from Salem all the way down into the Eugene area. Again, good kind of thought to give the car in front of you a little bit of extra space there. OK, and actually you can see the fog in full force here starting to blanket over parts of the Portland metro area. It's currently 55 degrees. Those winds coming out from the west right about three miles an hour. So here's what your day will be looking like by noon. We'll be seeing those mid 60s with partly sunny skies, increasing cloud coverage for the second half of our Sunday. Our daytime high should be in the low 70s for today. Sunset 625 tonight. So wanted to walk you through that future cast here. This is a look at eight o'clock this morning again. Expecting to see cloud coverage for much of the Willamette Valley. And then we do start to see a little bit of some sun breaks here and there again for the Portland metro area. Increasing cloud coverage throughout the night and into Monday morning. A brand new system actually makes landfall right about six o'clock in the morning for our coastline and then moves along the Willamette Valley hitting us here in Portland right about eight. So expect to see a pretty wet morning commute. Also expecting to see some isolated thunderstorms alongside gusty conditions for tomorrow. Uh, Portland could see upwards to 20 to 25 mile power wind gusts as we're looking into the early afternoon hours for our Monday. The coastline will be pretty gusty for the entire day. And as we're looking into the evening hours for Monday, we'll start to see a little bit less of that cloud coverage and less of that rain as well. So how much rain are we talking about here? Well, all the way through Monday night, we could see anywhere to between a quarter of an inch to half of an inch of rain uh, for Portland Metro and all the way really through the I-5 corridor, uh, closer to an inch of rain as we're looking at our coastline. Talking about our coastline, beautiful as ever, Lincoln City, 58 degrees. Not quite seeing people just yet, but I know people are still going to be going out there, even if it's going to be a little bit cloudy for today. Astoria, Pacific City and Newport in the 60s for the day. Again, expecting to see mostly cloudy skies after maybe a few uh, drips of drizzle from rain for this morning. Uh, for the gorge forecast, those low 70s for Cascade Locks, Hood River and the Dalles and for Central and Eastern Oregon. Some of our warmer spots. Uh, we're going to be in the mid 70s for Pendleton, 72 for Legrand, mostly sunny skies. Here's a look at that seven day forecast for today. Our daytime high will be in the low 70s with uh, mostly cloudy skies jump down into those mid to upper 60s for Monday and Tuesday. Again, rain and thunderstorms for Monday to kick off our work week. And then we actually start to see those warmer conditions and a little bit more of that sunshine as we're looking from Wednesday all the way into Friday, mostly dry for Saturday. Ooh, Saturday like Saturday. Love Saturday. <laughs> Daisy, thank you.